You know, Bob's not here today, so I thought we'd open the phone lines here at WNFLP Radio and see who we can help out there with any mortgage questions. So in the spirit of Bob, let's talk about that. Hello and welcome to this special episode of What's Their M.O., the radio edition. I'm Rick Masnick. Bob Orlando is on assignment. Our phone lines are open, so... Oh, we've got our first call. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Oh, yeah. Hey, Rick. Uh, this is Bob. I'm a long-time listener, uh, but first-time caller. And you know something? I was thinking about getting a prayer pool for a mortgage. But uh, I'm just afraid that if you guys pull my credit report, that you know that my credit score will go down. Uh, any way of getting the pre-approval done without pulling my credit? Yeah, that's a great question, Bob. And the first thing you should know is that a mortgage lender does need to know your score to be able to see if you qualify for certain programs, since each program does have a different minimum credit score requirement. Yeah, well, you know what? I have my credit score from Credit Timer. Um, can't you just use that for now? That's another great question, and the answer is no. The biggest reason is that uh, being a mortgage lender, we're going to be using your FICO score for qualifying, and the score on your credit uh, on your credit karma is something called a Vantage score, and that's a, a scoring system that credit card companies use to approve you. But a lender is going to want to see your FICO, and that can be incredibly different. I actually just ran someone's credit last week after they told me that their credit karma score was a 596, and their FICO was actually a 704. Wow, no kidding. Yeah, I didn't know there were different type of scoring systems, though. Yeah, and the credit report that we're, uh, is going to give us an accurate depiction of what your monthly payments are as well. Yeah. You know, I, I, I can give you what my monthly payments are um, to avoid having my credit run. And, uh, you know, I also usually make, you know, more than the minimum payment anyways. Well, that's a great habit to be in. But we're just uh, you know going to use the minimum payment because that's what's required. Yeah. Hey, Rick, but getting back to my original concern, won't, um, you know, pulling my credit score go down, you know, when you, when you do take a look at my credit? No. See, when a lender pulls your credit report, it's called an RMCR, which stands for Residential Mortgage Credit Report. Uh, you can have a dozen or so RMCRs pulled within a 30-day period, and the scoring system treats it as one pull. And it's set up that way to allow you to shop for the best possible mortgage for your home, uh, while you, you know when you're buying and you're only going to end up with one mortgage so the score doesn't get affected if you had 10 different credit card companies pull your credit report you could end up with all 10 credit cards and end up with a financial mess so that's when the score suffers but not for a mortgage inquiry wow so not for a mortgage inquiry mm -hmm. yeah well you know something Rick, you know after you explained it to me this this makes sense you know so um, yeah, tell you what, let's go ahead and uh, let's move forward uh, with my pre-approval. So, you know, thanks for the info. You're welcome. Now, if you found this information useful and helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. If you know someone else who this information could benefit, please pass this message on to them. But for now, that concludes this episode of What's Their M.O. I'm Rick Masnick. Hey, and I'm Barb Orlando, and we'll see you guys next time.